even though this is not even half the battle or just half the battle like i am so proud <laughs> Um, so today I'm gonna go to the farmer's market in the city with my roomies and then I'm gonna be studying for contracts today. Yay. Um, not really. Uh, so and then tonight I'm gonna go boxing. So catch you guys there. And this is my flashcard setup. One more final guys. OMG. Oh my gosh, almost there at the finish line. We're driving cars on a Mars tonight. So less than 24 hours until my last final. I'm so excited. Right now I'm on my way to my favorite cafe. Meet up for a beet latte from my favorite Bluestone Lane. If you guys haven't watched my previous videos, I'm obsessed with Bluestone Lane. Anyway, it's gonna treat myself to a great latte. Then study for contracts. Time to get this money. Artlist IO. And we got our ice mochas. <laughs> hey guys, so for the rest of the day, well, nighttime, it was such a good day, but. It's called today contracts final eve is what I'm gonna call it. Um, so let me show you guys. This is what my night is looking like. How fun! So the way that I'm gonna really study one last time, I'm gonna rewrite my outline. So this is my outline. Yeah, I'm gonna rewrite it by hand. It's utterly painful, but it's the way that I memorize. Let me know if you guys also have unconventional study methods, but. Got my passion fruit tea. Shout out Tazo. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. We wanna go, go. We wanna go, go. Music licensing reimagined. Hey, um, it's so beautiful outside. First of all, it's crazy because it's like on my last day of finals it's like 60 degrees in new york city like in december make it make sense i don't know whatever it's nice outside i got my coffee it's not starbucks but dunk it will do my regular oat milk latte um so yeah so i'm pretty nervous god i'm doing this i feel like i'm making like a diary of my death or something whatever so i'm really excited it's my last final like i guys told you guys um it's my contracts final and i'm i'm like nervous terrified but also just ready to get this over with and it's like wow it's like crazy knowing that today as soon as i'm done like that's it there goes my like fall semester my first school semester of law school it's crazy how time flies flies by um yeah, so I'm, I'm nervous, but I'll definitely update you guys on how I feel afterwards. So see you guys after my contracts final. So now, just, fi <laughs> just finished. Just finished the last final. I'm so relieved. Well, how are we feeling? How are you feeling? Brain dead. I'm really hungry. And you heard it live. So <laughs> finally, the semester is over. And yeah, okay guys, so that's it. That's my week. I just wanted to do a quick little semester recap. My first semester of law school completed. I gotta say like, and by the way, look at me rapping. The Women's Law Society. Anyways, um, so I can't believe like I am done. Like this is crazy it's a really tough like everything uh all the exams that i took was tough uh just overall like law school really kicked my behind like it really did there were so many things that i learned uh about myself um just 
it was a self-growth process and also a really hard one you know i always knew like coming into law school it was going to be so hard and and it was going to be challenging but wow like this really blew my expectations like out of the water um <clears throat> I gotta say though, that what made this experience so worthwhile was being able to have such like great classmates. Um, one of the best things that I love about my law school, about St. John's, is just my classmates. I, I don't know what I would have done without them this semester, and particularly my friend group. Like, they made law school so bearable and i'm so eternally grateful for that i definitely i feel like i learned so many things that i will take along the way going on for future semesters so obviously prior to law school never taken an exam that's similar or even close like i'm telling you when you take a law school exam like undergrad exams look like a walk around the park literally my walk to central park right there like but law school exams boy like but i feel like now that i've taken them i've kind of like i know what to expect from now on and obviously i feel like the biggest thing for me from the law school exams that makes it worse is the aftermath because it's like for me for example like i won't get my law school grades until the end of january but now i have to start like my whole like now i have to start like my whole my whole job process so it's like kind of scary but uh yeah that's that's like the one thing that's terrifying me if i'm like quite honest with you guys it's like oh my god like it's done obviously there's nothing you can do i did put a lot of effort a lot of work in so it's like like i've been telling myself and my close friends and family like it's god's willing like what happens um because i know that i i put in 100 percent productivity all the time uh but overall like finals very stressful um, I'm just glad that I got that over with and now I get to go back to the hobbies that I like love and do I'm actually gonna go to the Dior exhibit. I'm so excited I'm gonna vlog it and show you guys next week But yeah, no, it has been a definite it has been a learning Experience I'm telling you guys and it's like the work doesn't even end there Like I just said like now I have to start like applying for jobs and seeing what i want to do next summer which is crazy because it's like wow it's gonna be my first like big i mean obviously i worked in the legal field before but it's gonna be like my first like you know as a practicing i guess attorney in training um so it feels good it feels good to have gotten all this work done and you know like i'm so proud of myself and just for any other like law student that made it semester because it's a lot of hard work uh it's definitely not for everyone i know they always say like being a lawyer even being a doctor is not for everyone like you really gotta want it because it's it's a work you gotta put in the work like for real um but i i'm glad i took the chance and I, i'm just glad i'm really glad and i'm proud of myself for even getting through like no matter what happens i'm so happy that i that I did it and then I know that I put all the effort in, sacrificed a lot. Like I won't even lie to you guys, I cried a lot. <laughs> like it was hard, it was a shock. Especially also because I hadn't been in school in a while because I took a two year gap so I had to get back into the group of school. Uh, but I did, I do think that me taking a gap year from school did help me in my maturity and the way that I collect myself and handle myself. Um, so it did help in those regards but it was like a hard it was a hard adjustment yeah, and now that's it my first semester of law school is a wrap guys and next semester i already actually ordered my textbooks for next semester because i'm a real life crazy girl but <laughs> um but i already i did that on lock i did that this morning and now it's just about getting prepared going forward applying for jobs i'll definitely uh show you guys like next week like the different areas that i'm considering and hopefully I i'm just hoping for the best and um, what can i say it was hard but i made it and the biggest lesson i will say is probably stay true to who you are don't lose your identity because it's so hard to just be like now nah, it's all about the numbers it's all about i mean yeah numbers are important and everything and how you do and how you progress but you gotta stay true to the things you love because it's so hard to get so like jaded on one and compare yourself 
to everyone else and their accomplishments and everything like that so that's my biggest lesson i mean to stay true to myself and yeah so with that being said that's it for this week so see you guys next week bye